friends, it's Hope from digthegoodlife.com and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make easy oatmeal bathtub pouches that are great for soothing irritated and dry skin. So when I was a kid I had really sensitive skin and back in the early 90s there weren't a lot of you know natural products, there weren't a lot of sensitive skin products and anything with fragrance or dyes would make my skin really itchy and give me a rash and so there was one kind of shampoo that I could have you know it was this boring clear bottle of shampoo that didn't smell great and I, I really wanted the tutti frutti kids you know crazy color shampoo but I always got itchy <laughs> so my mom had to be really careful about what kind of products that she bought and she also one time made this big batch of um, homemade soap and she put oatmeal in it and I remember she cut it into little squares and it was this really hard soap and I remember using that I mean we had that soap for years it lasted forever another thing my mom would do with oatmeal is she would take a little piece of cheesecloth or maybe like a dish towel and she would put some oatmeal in it cinch it up with a string or a rubber band and then she would um, have me take that into the bathtub and I remember sitting in the tub and squeezing it and it all mushy and I remember the oat milk coming out and making the bathtub cloudy and sitting in that and so that that's where I got this idea back then I didn't think anything about why are, why are oats good for my skin but I just recently did a little bit of research and it's really easy to find lots of good information about why oats in fact are very good for relieving itchy, rashy, inflamed skin and um, just google it and you'll find some interesting things. There's some, there's quite a few studies done on colloidal oatmeal which I didn't really know what that meant but turns out colloidal oatmeal sounds really intimidating or fancy but it's just oatmeal that's been ground into a powder so that it can easily be added into different applications into baths into lotions and creams so that's all that means so oats apparently have some sort of properties that are extremely soothing and beneficial for eczema hives rashes itchy dry flaky skins all those kinds of conditions where your skin is just not happy oatmeal seems to be a really good remedy for that so basically the only change I've made in this idea of my mom's is that I have found these little muslin pouches. They come in a pack of 12 and I just think, I just think they're so cute and I want to do other cute ideas with them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> I'm just really excited about these pouches. <laughs> anyway. The nice thing about the pouch method versus the putting it in like a towel method is that for children especially, um, I remember sitting in the tub and squeezing the pouch like I said. Well I would squeeze and squeeze and the oatmeal would just kind of ooze out of the top of the pouch and we would end up with a tub full of oatmeal, which probably isn't that big of a deal except it's probably not great for your pipes. I tried these the other night with my kids. I've got a one-year-old and five-year-old, so if some oatmeal could have been squeezed out, they would have done it. Trust me. But all I did was put, it doesn't matter, I don't know how much I put, maybe three or four tablespoons, I don't know, into a pouch, and then I tied it up really, really tight, and they could not squeeze any out. They squeezed these. They had the biggest time playing with these in the tub. When the oatmeal gets wet, it gets really slimy and gooey. And so they squeezed them and they rubbed them on their skin and they just had a big time with them. So these would be good for any age person, but they're fun for kids too. So you just tie it up like that, throw it in the tub, and you start working on it, squeezing it, mushing it, and you'll see that this like oat milk starts coming out. It's real slimy and gooey, and your tub water will start to get cloudy, and you just sit in there and soak oil. And I love a super, super hot bath. 
but I do know that in the winter when everybody's skin is dry, it's probably best to use lukewarm. Who wants a lukewarm bath? Warm. Use warm water. Lukewarm, that just sounds like torture. Another good thing to do when you're in the tub with this is to just take it and rub it all over your body, all over whatever area is especially dry, and just kind of let it sit and soak in for a few minutes. And after you get out of the tub is a perfect time when your skin is damp to um, apply a moisturizer. Two of my favorites for all of us, my kids especially, is plain straight shea butter. I've had really good luck with that being really healing and moisturizing. And also my new favorite, which is tallow balm. And it has been so helpful for my kids' skin. So after a nice warm oatmeal bath would be the perfect time to put some of that on. I'm going to put a link for these adorable little pouches down below if you want to grab some. And I will also put a link for my favorite shea butter and tallow balm. And also for the blog post that will go along with this video, hop on over to my blog digthegoodlife.com where I share simple and creative home life, wholesome food, and handmade projects. And thanks for stopping by today. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.